What's up guys, got a little case review here for you. Um, this is going to be like a first look uh, unboxing kind of thing. Um, spec candy shell for the iPhone 5. Um, I have the, I guess you can call this orange and green. Kind of like a dark gray and black. And then a black and red. Um, I show you real quick. Uh, we'll do, probably this one's the easiest to see. Um, nice lay on the table design with this one. Um, very flexible, you know, it's not going to break easily. Uh, this part right here, as in the older specs, these used to break all the time. I don't think that's going to be the case with these. It's still a little bit easy to, you know, to pinch and, but, um, I think, I think you should be fine on that. Um, pretty much, you know, the back is going to scratch as you can see on this one. There's always a lot of scratches in this. I think she's had this for about a week. Um, very clickable. Let's just go ahead and put a phone in here. I got the white and the black, so we'll go ahead and show you how it looks on both. So that's how it looks on the white. See, you can easily access your switch here. Top button works fine. Side buttons are very clicky. All the buttons are very clicky. You have full access to your ports, your microphone, and your speaker. Like I said, again, you can access that on the side. And there you go. Go ahead and try this one on the black here. And as you always do with any of these specs, you always put button side in first. So this is what it looks like on the black. Again, open to everything. My favorite one so far is the red and black on the black phone, of course. This is the case that I'm using right now. As you can see, focus in on there. It does have some scratching. I have the invisible shield on the front and the back, so these work will work with the invisible shield. Um, you just don't get as much lay on the table. You still get a pretty decent amount. I don't know if you can see it right there. It's a little bit of a lip. And we'll go ahead and show you with the white. That way you guys can see what it looks like. And again, you know, the little lip right there. This one has a little bit more of a lip because this phone only has the invisible shield on the front. And we'll go ahead and show the gray. Now these cases do retail for around $35, um, depending on where you buy them. You can buy them at um, at and I think they're a little bit more, they're like $38. Um, I personally bought the this one in the store, this one was $35 at Apple. Bought this one online, be careful, there's a lot, a lot of fakes going around. I would suggest if you can, buy from a good rated seller, I bought this on eBay. Buy from a good rated seller, make sure that it looks original in the picture and that they have an original picture up, not just a stock one, say from the website. Um, this one had at t packaging, so I'm pretty sure this was an original one. It feels just like the one I bought in the store, so you know, there's no difference there. And then on this one, I bought this actually from my local Target. For some reason, they were having a half off sale on all the Spec 5 cases for the iPhone 5. Um, I have no idea. It was on clearance for $17.50, so, you know, I went ahead and bought it. So, you know, you can find good deals out there, but just, just look for them. And then, here's the black on the gray. Of course, this looks really nice as well, but I like, personally, I like the red and black. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, you know, um comment, rate, subscribe. Just leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. Uh, if you need any videos, you know, if you guys want to look at anything else, uh, just let me know. If there's a certain case you're not sure about getting the protection wise, you know, I can try to get it and see. 
Um, so far, this is the best case for the iPhone 5 that I've tried. Every other case, I, there has something been something about it that I haven't liked. So I, I've taken it back or exchanged it for a different case. But the spec candy shell, so far I really like it. The only downside to this case is the scratching on the back. So I'd give this a 9 out of 10 um, on the you know, the durability and everything and the protection wise. It's going to protect just like any other case. It has the dual layer, the soft on the inside, the hard on the outside. Um, you know, for price wise, $35, sometimes you can find it cheaper. Um, you know, it's, it's a decent price. Most cases cost around $30. I've seen even snap cases cost $30 and those do not, do not protect your phone at all. Uh, I still find it funny that people buy those. Um, so it gets a 9 out of 10, um, has a nice lay on the table. Um, it's going to protect your phone, you know, if you drop it. And it's very good to protect the iPhone 5 because this screen to get fixed is right around 300 and up dollars. Um, so, you know, you can get it fixed at Apple for about 250 But still, you know, 250 bucks to get your phone fixed unless you have the Apple Care Plus. It's, uh, it's really not worth it. So, you know, just buy a good case. Um, right now, this is my number one case for the iPhone 5. I've tried, you know, the OtterBox uh, commuters and all those. Um, they work nice, but I like the spec better than the commuter. Pretty much the same type of case, hard on the outside, soft on the inside. Um, the Defender cases is going to be better than this, but they also cost more. So that's more for people who are in construction or maybe if you drop your phone a lot, that kind of stuff. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, uh, just comment down below. See ya.